Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Puppy David. And, uh, yeah, we just finished doing the Levels of Battle run and decided to do all the boss fights. Uh, or video about all the boss fights. Um, here's uh, Diablo. It's, he's a pretty annoying guy. But, um, because of the whole having to watch for him going unstoppable and whatnot, but decided I'm just going to go ahead and take Omega Red and uh, let his spores and degen do all the work. Ended the fight with the SP1 quick. You know, because it pretty much out would outlast the unstoppable, or it would pretty much kill him before he can attack me. Next, Morning Star, same deal. We're gonna go in with Omega Red, and uh, yeah, she has power gain and whatnot. And I think it's like power gain for each deep buff that she's immune to. But we're not gonna be placing any deep buffs that she's immune to. So we're just gonna have to kind of play around the whole power gain, kind of not play it too too fast, be hitting into the block quite a bit uh, one is just to reduce the amount of power gain she gets even though she's still gonna get a pretty decent amount of power gain through hitting in her block but it's not gonna be as bad be able to work through it now the synergy that I have um, is uh, Nick Fury quake synergy uh, as for the evade charges you'll see they, they come in pretty handy in this next fight that's which is the most annoying fight which is which is um, Black Widow Clairvoyant. And um, <clears throat> you'll see that uh, she has um, Blockable Finale. And of course, they we still have that, um, I think it's called Head Over Heels or whatever, which we're going to keep seeing throughout the rest of the chapter where you have to kill them by using a heavy. Well, I went in here with Quake, and as most people already know that have been watching my videos, that, oh, well, I suck at Quake. But... I figured this is a good time to actually, you know, try it, try it out and see if I got any better. And from the looks of it, no, I haven't. But um, I was actually um, not paying attention to this fight too, too much, especially when uh, I didn't realize that she had already got a bar of power and I'm sitting here still trying to charge a, a heavy. But, uh, yeah, I was just working her, working her. I know this fight can be done with Quake if, you know, if you're better than I am. But I figure, hey, you know what? I'm going to get whatever damage I can in and then just finish off uh, the fight with uh, Omega. Now, <clears throat> the point of uh, bringing Quake and uh, Nick Fury was basically for the evade mechanic. So I know she's going to go unblockable, but the good thing is that I got three, uh, th three uh, chances to evade. So I figured I'd go ahead and throw heavy and... If um, she would clip me or whatever, I or was about to clip me, I'd go ahead and get that evade. Uh, luckily, uh, I don't know if it's just Omega or if it counts towards everybody, but uh, I know as with Omega, as long as one part of the heavy which you saw hit, that was it and knocked her out. So that um, evade mechanic came real handy for that fight. Now, um. Corvus, well, he's just doing Corvus. I got um, a couple of charges on the lane. And um, here's a pretty easy fight. I mean, yeah, he has a uh, resistor and whatnot. Um, so apparently he's supposed to not be taking that much uh, damage. But as you can see, yeah, it didn't take too long. And he's down. All right, yeah, next up we got um, Domino, I believe. And... Uh, has role reversal and uh, that matter door node where you can't gain a bar of power unless uh, I believe she has to shoot hers off. So decided to use Nick Fury. Uh, we got him duped uh, the other day, and uh, so now it's time to test him out. Um, Domino just doesn't have the I can't even remember the name of the damn um, node, but where you need a heavy her to um, to actually kill her. So that was actually a pretty good thing. I mean, not that it really, would have really mattered, because, I mean, throughout the fight, I'm throwing heavies back and forth anyways. But right now, really, what I was trying to do was just get to my SP2, because uh, I know that one good SP2 would basically either end the fight, or what it would do is just, you know, of course, leave her stunned, or possibly leave her stunned, um, ho hoping that she didn't shrug that off, and uh, just go in and actually finish it. So here we're just uh, waiting to bait out that SP2. And the good thing with having an Awakened Nick Fury is that if it would actually connect, well, I would just lose the decoy. 
But as you can see, um, yeah, it didn't really matter. Went ahead, SP2, boom, she's down. Now with uh, Modoc, um, I don't even. Uh, he has an EMP modification thing, and I know they said that Corvus is um, immune to shock, um, but I guess this is different. I don't know, but um, either way, I decided to take him in um, for this fight abrupt Proxima, uh, just so I can get the uh, True Strike. And um, here I go. This is basically what I do in AQ all the time. Just kind of hit him until he gets that little auto block. Parry heavy. Got my True Strike. And then we're ready to go. Now, the only problem with this fight, everything was going all right uh, in the beginning. Um, I'm doing my little one, two, three here. The evade mechanic helped me out. I don't know why I didn't dash back. But um, here while I was doing this fight, for some reason, I guess I forgot that you need a heavy to kill him so right here i thought the sp2 was gonna kill them and boom no nope, came back killed me didn't have <laughs> uh i didn't react fast enough like i said I, I i thought he was dead i forgot about it but we're just gonna go ahead and finish this off with um omega and all i need is just one good parry and a heavy and that's it game over and uh there we go he's down um i only did one one path on each just to get the rewards um, or the initial clear just to kind of see what it looked like but uh, I'll probably put up a video later on of me doing the rest of the stuff event and um, yeah probably just record a few paths or some of the more annoying paths but um, yeah other than that that's pretty much it um, um, see you on the next one uh -huh.